Good morning. Hope everybody is having a wonderful Thursday. As my motto go, God is good and all the time. God is good. You all, if you did not get an opportunity to go in and watch my other videos, please go in and watch that content, you all. It is very good content. I know you guys would enjoy. My name is Miriam Jackson. I aim towards godly principles, you all. So when you go in, hit that like and share buddy and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content. Thank you all so much. So the, the, uh, the, uh, the topic that I will be speaking on this morning will be learn from your mistakes. Okay, and y'all know how I like to get into scriptures and everything. So I am going to, I'm coming from Proverbs 15, 31 through 32, and it reads, Whoever he's life-giving correction will be at home among the wise. Those who disregard discipline despise themselves, but the one who he's correction gains understanding. So the scripture is telling us, to, uh, 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 it, what the scripture is telling us, you are is that when it comes down to our mistakes, we have to be willing to make the necessary adjustments in our lives that need to be made. Because if you do not, you will continue to make the same mistakes over and over and over. And Jesus is telling us, this is not um, the, the way to heed to correction. This is not the way to gain understanding when we do not follow what Jesus is telling us to do, you all. So when it comes down to this, these making mistakes, some of us has been in, been in things that God never told us to get into. He, he had the red flags right there for us. We ignore those red flags, okay, like, some, like a lot of us do. But it's okay because at the end of the day, these are just mistakes that we have to learn from. Some of us have gotten into uh, uh, relationships. Some of us have gotten even into marriages, uh, friendships. Some of us have gotten into those things. So we have to make, we have to be in a predicament to say, you know what? You know, it comes to a point where I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of living my life accordingly to how I want to live my life. Because these things are going to continue to occur if we do not pay attention to what God is telling us to do. So we have to be mindful to heed to correction, to gain understanding. Because how do we, how, what, what is I'm saying about gaining understanding? Well, the only way you're going to gain understanding is about paying attention to the action that you, do, that you have done to get you to the point where you are now. You have to, so that you will not find yourself back in a certain, a certain situation. So meaning there needs to be better decisions that needs to be made so that you will not find yourself in the very same predicament. Because God will take us through the same thing until we get it right. Because he loves us. Because the Bible tells us that he chastised those whom he loved. And then it also, um, it goes on and say, if you ignore criticism, you will end in poverty and disgrace. If you accept correction, you will be honored. So if we just make up in our minds to accept correction, you all, the scripture is telling us that we will be honored if we do what's right. If we learn from our mistakes, God will honor us. We will be blessed. Okay? We will be blessed. And once again, going back to as I stated, that God loves us so much, he wants us to live our lives accordingly to what the scripture tells us to live our lives. Because we would not continue to make all these mistakes, you all, if we would just focus on God and ask God, God, how do you feel about my situation? What do you think about my situation? Which direction should I go in? So if we get all of this stuff from God, you all, we would not continue to make the same mistakes that we make. And also, as I stated on this morning on my Facebook Live, you all, I also stated that it does matter how people view you. It does matter how people think about you. Because the scripture talks about a good name. A good name is better than anything, you all. So we just have to make sure 
what side of that name, of that good name that we're on? Are we on the, 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 the Jesus good name or are we on the enemy good name? We have to make up, what, we have to make up in our mind what side that we want to be on because the scripture plainly tells us about a good name. Some of you all out there, you will say, well, it doesn't matter. I don't care what people think about me. I don't care how people view me. I have been there, you are. I have been in that same predicament. But guess what? When I lay my head down on my pillow and if somebody give me a word to say, even though it may hurt my feelings, but it's what's called constructive criticism. Although it may hurt my feelings, I'm still going to bring myself back in right standing with God and be like, you know what? They was right. They was right. I need to get better. I need to do better. Because I can't continue to go through this, 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 go down this road right here. Because it's not gonna lead me to it's not gonna lead me nowhere to a place of destruction. So we have to turn on our listening caps, you all, which is our ears, and we have to hear. And not being so quick with our mouth to lash out on people because someone is telling you the right thing to do. So let's go about this day, you all, knowing that a good name is better than anything. How someone view you is very important. So let's make a decision on today. Let's start it over, you all. One thing about God, we can start over with God. Each and every day he wakes you up, that is an opportunity for you to start over with him and only him to get it right. So let's go about this day, putting out some uh, 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 some good views to people so that people can see Christ in us, you all, because he loves us so much. You all, I'm getting ready to get on off this live. I hope this content has helped someone out there on learning from your mistakes because it's so important to learn from your mistakes because God wants to give us so many great things in this life. But we have to heed to the Holy Spirit, you all. You all, go about your day. Have a blessed day. Don't forget, once again, to like and share this video on my YouTube channel, you all. Like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for more content. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.